Alright, time to find out the true identity of Ordinary Freddy Fan. Perhaps he's a garden gnome. Or a robot. Perhaps he's a demon. Or maybe he's a fish! What the? Seriously, Mabel? You actually think he's a fish? Oh, it's not my theory! It's Waddle's theory! Come here, Waddles! Come here! Come here! Good oink, piggy! Oink, oink. I'm afraid to tell you the pig is wrong, Mabel. For Ordinary Freddy Fan is really- Ordinary Freddy Fan is actually Hiro Hamada in disguise! Hiro Hamada? Oh man, that was way off. Well, uh, looks like you finally figured it out. Mind your own business! Seriously, Robin? You're the one getting into my business. Go on! Skip! Skip out! I am a detective, you know. Shoo shoo! Go away, go away! <sighs> Any particular reason why you're only telling Mabel and I about these news? And Waddles! Oink, oink. I'm only telling you two because you two can actually keep secrets. That and I highly doubt anyone else in this city would believe me. And even if they did believe me, it would surely cause a panic. A panic? panic? Oink. Well, maybe not a panic. Maybe a rampage, a riot, maybe another civil war. But either way, the results will be disastrous. And why would it be disastrous? Well, if I told this news to Natsu, he'd burn down Disneyland! If I told this news to Grey, he'd freeze up Disneyland! If I told these news to Gon, well, he'd probably be just fine. But anyone else would still attack Disneyland! Th th that doesn't answer my question. How does Hiro Hamada be Ordinary Freddy Fan equal our people attacking Disneyland? Don't you get it, Dipper? Just think about the logic here! Someone from Disneyland comes here undercover, in disguise, inconspicuous, secretly taking notes on all of us, finding out our weaknesses. They're obviously preparing to go to war with us. So we have to prepare ourselves. We need to be able to fight back. We need to make sure that they do not get the upper hand and go to war with them first. You literally just said you didn't want to go to war. No, I said I didn't want to go to war unprepared. So, I'm suggesting we sneak into Disneyland ourselves, or we capture a hero and find out what he's really planning. Then we can go to war! Oh boy, I do not understand this guy at all. Listen, Hero's not a spy, but he is a bot fighter. In fact, now that I think about it, it's pretty obvious that he came here just to try and reclaim his champion when he found out that Aviva was the bot fighting champion. And now that he's realized that Aviva's way out of his league, he's just gonna spend the rest of his days in Disneyland contemplating what just happened. I highly doubt he'll ever come back to Toonville again. Wow, I could not have been more wrong. He actually came back. I mean, it's pretty obvious why he's back. He lost to Aviva and now he wants to get even. He's gonna challenge her to a rematch. Yeah, but he does know that the bot fights are weekly, not daily, right? Well, of course he knows about the weekly bot fights, but he's not here to bot fight. He is here to spy on us! Okay, why are we still listening to him? Ugh, I dropped my Megabot while that Robin guy was chasing me. Really hope I wouldn't have to come back here, but until I can find it, I can't le- Hey! Thief! Oh, he just lost his Megabot and came back to retrieve it. But what's Conan doing with it? Obviously something suspicious. <sighs> Where did that little brat go? Aha! You can't escape me! When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna drag you back to Disneyland and I'm gonna feed you to the crocodiles! And if the crocodiles won't eat you, then I'll feed you to the lions! Oh, and... take it down a notch there, buddy. Don't want any trouble. Just need to chat. Oh, um, th thank you very much. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll- Hang on, hang on. Before you go leaving, there's- I need to- Do you two mind? Okay, listen up, Hiro Hamada. We need to talk. Uh, who- who's Hiro Hamada? I- Dude, I know it's you. It's like, so obvious. Huh, I guess I underestimated your intelligence. A lot of people in Toonville are a lot smarter than I thought. Intelligence isn't the only thing you've been underestimating. 
What's that supposed to mean? Okay, okay, just hear me out before, without getting angry, please. Fine. What do you gotta say, kid? <sighs> As you know, Sora and the Keyblade Council evacuated us to this brand new dimension to escape the ever-growing army of supervillains. And while we have been kept safe for quite a long time, it won't last forever. And when those villains do show up again, they will be able to pick us off because none of us are working together. Which means... Oh, no, 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 I see where this is going. You're going to try and propose a new alliance that's once again going to go up in smokes, just like all the other times. But it's the only way to keep us safe for when the villains attack. The villains aren't coming, kid. That's the job of Sora and the Keyblade Council. Keeping us safe from all the danger from that dimension coming into this dimension. Do you really think that small group of heroes will be able to take on the massive army that has probably grown bigger and stronger in our absence? And even if that wasn't the case, are you really okay with all this? Living with all of this hate and resentment towards one another? When, realistically, we could be living in peace. Well, that's the thing about peace, kid. It takes a lot of work. And it's worth it! Why put all this effort into hate when you can put that same effort into peace? Alone, our cities and nations are already really impressive. So just imagine how much better we could be if we were together, a unified nation. I believe it's still possible. And I think deep down, you believe it too. Oh <sighs> So, what are you proposing? Keep making trips to Toonville, and I'll show you its best qualities, rather than all of the negative qualities you're so used to. And if at any given moment, you think that I'm just talking a bunch of malarkey, you can go back to Disneyland, and never come back to this place, ever. Well, uh... All right, everybody stop! Now don't anybody move! I'm really sorry about this. We have no control over him. Oh my goodness, no wonder he has so many fangirls. He's so handsome. Boink. Robin, no, you need to leave. You're gonna ruin everything. I'm afraid I can't do that, brat. He's learned too much about our secrets. What secrets? Shut up, sidekick. Sidekick? Okay, hero, it's time for you to die now. Die? Why do I have to die? Because you're a Disney spy! Why would I be a spy? Well, why else would you stick around here? Well, at first, I just came back to find my Megabot. But... After hearing what Conan had to say, I started to have second thoughts. He's right. All us Disney people think about you cartoons is a bunch of rude obnoxious, and generally unpleasant people to hang around. And to be honest, you obviously think we're all stuck up, too proud of ourselves to actually want to hang out with people like you. And even though I still think this is gonna go up in flames, it couldn't hurt to keep on trying to achieve peace, right? That is exactly what a spy would say! Seriously? Okay, Robin, you, you just gotta leave, like, right now. I can't leave! Not until he's been destroyed! You do realize that destroying him would give Disney an even bigger motive to go to war with us, right? And you're the one who said you didn't want to go to war unprepared, Robin, or whatever your reason was. Honestly, everything you say just doesn't make sense. You, you, you can't seriously be telling me you're taking his side, are you? Robin, just, just go. And don't tell anyone about this. Fine. I'll go. And I won't tell anyone about this. But don't you think for a second that this is over between us, hero? It's not over! Well, now that he's out of the way, how about a first date? Mabel, not now. Now, I promise, hero, we're not all like Robin. I'll be sure to show you all the other people of this city and try to win you over. And maybe if you do, I can tell show Disney that you guys aren't so bad. Yeah. To a new alliance. And to a better world.